Hello and welcome back everyone. In today's video, we'll be learning how to deploy an Angular application using Firebase hosting. And honestly, I just recently deployed my own application using Firebase and it was really simple. It took me less than a minute to set up everything and deploy my Angular application. So if you have been following us and this playlist on YouTube, where we are building this awesome application online with you live every single week, we have been building a real application in Angular using real API that fetch cryptocurrencies, prices, and then we also connected it with Firebase database as well as we added authentication using AuthO. And you can see we have sign up with the sign in Google, Facebook, Twitter, all sort of stuff. We even have a join button where you can go ahead and create your own account with the with your own email ID and password. So we have been building that since a long time. But as you can see, it's no longer running on my local host. It's running on an actual URL. Now, obviously, I can buy a domain and deploy it on my real domain, whatever I want, a custom domain. But for now, I'm just happy to deploy it with Firebase. And as you can see, Firebase gives me these two URLs. Now in this tutorial, we will see how we can do that for a brand new Scratch application in Angular and deploy it from, uh, from the very beginning because if you haven't been following our tutorials where we connected Firebase with Angular before, well, you might be missing out and you might not know what we are going to do if I simply go ahead and deploy my Angular application. So maybe I need to show you step-by-step -step on how you can uh, start an Angular application from scratch connected to Firebase and then finally deploy it using Firebase hosting. So we learn all of that step by step. But first, let's go ahead and see what I have over here. I just created a new Angular application. It has nothing but a heading on the top, right? Deploy 1.0. There's nothing else on this Angular application. I want to deploy this using Firebase. The first and number one thing you need to do is make sure you have Firebase installed in your machine. Right, so for that, I'll use npm install minus g, which is globally, and I want to install Firebase tools. Now, Firebase tools comes with a lot of helpers, with a lot of tools that we can use to deploy things, to connect with Firebase, and even to our authentication and so much more. So this is a very useful library that you can add to your whole machine. This works with both, uh, uh, sorry, this works with both uh, Mac as well as Windows. So no matter what machine you're using, it should work for you. Okay, so we are already able to install it. It was already installed on our machine, so maybe just updated the library itself. Now, the next thing we need to do is add Firebase hosting. So I'll say Firebase in it, and I'll say hosting. This is a brand new application which is not connected at all. This will ask us more questions like, is it an existing project? Is it a new project, right? So I'll say, use an existing project, that's fine. Then I have some projects already created on my Firebase, so I can use any one of them. For now, I'll just use, let's say, Angular Crypto Demo. I had this application, I'm not even using it now. It's uh, an old application, so I'll just use this project. Now, simply by running this command, you have seen that we already connected our Angular project with a Firebase project, right? Now it is asking us, where do you want to deploy from? Which directory will you have your files in where I can deploy? I will say my directory is going to be something like this directory called dist and maybe I will have ng and then demo deploy. Now you can name this something else. You can create your own folder. So it really depends on you. Are you creating a single page application? Absolutely. It's Angular. Do you want to automatically deploy with GitHub? This is an awesome feature, but for now I don't want to use it because I'm just writing a basic application to deploy things. Now, the next thing is we are ready to deploy, but we never built our Angular application. So we have to run a command ng build. And what this will do is this will take care of building or basically preparing our Angular project to be deployed in production, right? So this is, again, a built-in Angular feature. You don't need to worry about it. It will just compress our HTML files, CSS files, TypeScript files, everything, and it will make it ready to be deployed. And there you go. It's ready to be deployed. Now, as you can see, the name of the folder was demo deploy and not ng demo deploy. So what I need to do it, I need to run Firebase in it hosting again, and I need to give it the correct path because the path I gave it before was incorrect. So I'll say dist slash demo deploy. So whatever your application, whatever your computer is giving the path, Angular project is giving the path, you just need to use the same path, right? You, can you override? Yes, that's fine. There you go. Now I'll just run ng build again, just to be safe if everything is fine. And I can delete the other folder that I'm no longer using. That should be fine as well. We are basically ready to deploy, right? It is as simple as that. All we did was number one, 
we created an Angular application. I'm assuming you already have one because you are trying to deploy one. Number two, we must have a Firebase project, right? That we can use to connect our Angular application with. And finally, all we need is uh, to be able to build and then run this command, Firebase deploy, and that is it. Let's see what happens. It already started deploying, and now it's using the file that we provided it, and there you go. It is deployed already. There's nothing else to do. It also gives us a URL, so let me just copy this, go to my browser, and see if it works. And there you go. On a real URL, my application is working, and it is live, and it took us less than a couple of minutes to set everything up. Now, what if I want to update my website and want to redeploy it, right? Now I'll say deploy 2.0, right? So if I go to my local host, this should update. So let me just run it quickly and show you that it actually updates or not. So ng-serve will take a few seconds. I'll skip past it and I'll show you the final response. And if I go to my Firebase, I should have the other project ready, right? So if I go here, Firebase crypto demo, and if I go to hosting, it should show me the URLs I already connected. There you go. This is the URL, right? Let's see. There you go, deploy 1.0, it's already connected. So easy, I really love the simplicity of this process. Now, where was I? Let's see if I have deployed 2.0 on my local, there you go. On my local host, I have deployed 2.0. Now, how can I deploy this again? All I need to do is run ng-build because now I have a new build, my HTML or my JavaScript or something has changed in my Angular project. So I just need to rebuild it, which will take a few seconds. And then I need to run Firebase deploy, which will deploy everything. Let me show that to you in a couple of seconds once this runs. There you go. That is complete. I'll say Firebase deploy. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go. In five seconds, it's ready. Let me go to my real URL and check it out. It's not updated yet, so sometimes it can take a few seconds to show what you actually deployed to be uh, ready to use. Let me refresh the website. So it's loading right now. I think the build is being deployed, so maybe Firebase can take a couple of seconds to complete that. And there you go, Fire Firebase deployed my Angular application successfully, deployed 2.0. So I just showed you how to connect a Firebase application with Angular, then add hosting to it, then build your application, and then finally deploy it. Once all of that is done, I also showed you how you can redeploy by basically changing something in your code and then seeing the effect in less than a minute. And I think that is awesome and I really love it because it's so simple that I really like it, right? And now Firebase has other features as well that I'm already using in my real application, in my real project like database, authentication, so much more. But I hope you learned something new. I hope it helped you deploy your Angular application. Let me know in the comments below if you had any questions or any concerns, or if you just liked the video, let us know that in the comments down below as well. Thank you very much again for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.